There was plenty of celebrating at Colorado Mesa last year. The Mavs won five conference titles and their first ever Armac All Sports Cup. It wasn't really a surprise. Colorado Mesa University has always been very, very competitive in the RMAC, and, and everything just worked uh, out to be uh, to our favor. Tom Spicer is in his second full year as director of athletics at CMU. He's been an AD in the RMAC for 25 years, spending 15 at Fort Hayes State and nine at Colorado Mines, where the Ore Diggers won the All Sports Cup two years ago. Now the pressure is, is that we've got to try to do it again, and so uh, we'll see what happens this year. We've got, again, a lot of good people and a lot of good student athletes. Spicer oversees one of the largest athletic departments in the RMAC. Mesa has 23 sports competing in NCAA Division II, along with six emerging sports. That's more than 700 student athletes. Construction is underway to expand the Maverick Center. We're still continuing to grow um, the uh, you know, Maverick Center, our recreational center. Uh, received some additional uh, space. Uh, they repurposed some space within a fixed you know, facility, which gives us more opportunity for recreational sport. Each sport now has its own locker room, and the weight room also was recently renovated. Colorado Mesa University is a very vibrant university. We're going to continue to grow. Mesa has a new men's golf coach, new soccer coaches, and a new softball coach. We've got a department you know, full of individuals, student athletes and coaches, to accept those challenges and you know what, uh, good Lord willing and a crick doesn't rise, we stay lucky and stay healthy, we might have another opportunity to win another you know, all sports championship. Welcome back to this episode of the RMAC Showcase featuring Colorado Mesa University. The swimming and diving teams there at Colorado Mesa have started practice. In fact, their first meet is at the beginning of October. Last year, the CMU men won the RMAC championship. This year, they're hoping for a sweep there's nearly 50 swimmers in the pool at Colorado Mesa, and head coach Ron Allen is hoping to mold them into conference champions. But he knows it will be tough, especially with Cal Baptist returning and Lindenwood joining the RMAC in swimming and diving. I'll be honest with you. I, I would rank us as third right now on both sides. I think both those teams um, had recruiting classes and returning classes that will be ahead of us. I think what we need to do is exactly what we're beginning to do right now, and concentrate on team, team, team. Returning for the men is returning All-American Justin Hastings. I definitely feel like that I'm I'm someone on the team that the kids look up to and talk, ask questions if they don't know what's happening. Hastings was the RMAC champ in the 100 and 200 back, plus the 100 fly. But his main goal is for the team to repeat as conference champs. We definitely have the team and the talent to do it. It's just uh, it's gonna be an uphill battle. Uh, we're, we're ready for it, but uh, it's going to take a top 15 national finish to win conference. Senior diver Amanda Jennings from Colorado Springs Palmer High School is hoping to make a splash in her final season. This year I really want to be an academic All-American and I want to win our max and kind of want to win nationals with this new coach we have. He's awesome. So. I mean, but the ultimate goal is to make finals at nationals. Logan Pearsall is the new diving coach working with a young group in which Jennings is the only senior. I feel like I'm almost in high school again, like I'm a senior in high school because we're almost like graduating and done and all the new freshmen are coming in and I feel so old. I really do compared to all these youngins. They were born in like 1997 and 96. The veteran Jennings was born in 93. In addition to her personal goals, she would like to close out her RMAC career with a conference team championship. I think we have a chance at winning RMACs if we all put our, go our hardest and do our best. We, it'll be really close with Cal Baptist, but I'm pretty sure like, if we want it, we can get it. If we want to win on the men's or the women's side, we will need to send more people to nationals than we ever have in history because those other teams are doing that. And to beat them, we need to do that too. Still ahead on the showcase, a preview of golf and cross country coming up next. Women's golf, the Mavs try to win an early season tournament. We'll be right back. You're the Mavericks. The inquisitive ones. The creative ones. The analytical ones. And we are a university that's at the forefront of experiential and integrated learning. 
It's an innovative approach that delivers a richer academic experience. And that makes us Mavericks too.